What's the crack lads? Welcome back to another player pack review. Today we're taking a look at the Derby Day England pack selection. We are starting with part one of this video with Liverpool. So we're going to kick off with Liverpool. We'll have the United one up. It's going to be a two-parter just split into two videos, short and sweet for each video, but covering everything in a little bit more detail because there's a couple of options you can do to train these players up. So obviously we're going to start with Alisson in goals. We'll take a look at his overall and how I will train him here in a second over on eFootball DB in just a second. But I do genuinely think that Alisson haven't played with him for quite a while now. Um, he is a very, very decent keeper. He's on A form as well. He's got low punt, long throw, standard form, which is a bit of a pity, but I'm not too concerned about that with the A rating. So if you are a Liverpool fan, you will want to get Alisson. Obviously, his standard version is very decent as well. These cards aren't massively overpowered, I would say. I mean, they've got some fairly nice base stats, but, you know, I mean, the standard cards do hold up extremely well compared to these. Obviously, Alisson has got 19 levels for his standard version, um, and he starts at an 85. We'll get a look at that in a second. Um, but I think the biggest thing, obviously, between this one is just the fact that he's got better goalkeeper reflexes, which is the most overpowered stat for a goalkeeper. We'll get a look at that in a second. Um, just here now, actually, we'll take a look at that. So this is his card over in the Football DB. We have it up as a 94 overall but just his standard version right let's start off at an 87 this is his standard version here you can see that he's got 83 awareness and 85 reflexes but when we go to his actual standard card here it's got 19 levels so it's got five more levels than this than this one here um, as you can see there, this is 14 levels, this is 19 levels, and this is a, has a base rating of 85, and this Liverpool Derby Day England pack has a base rating of 87. So these cards are pretty much identical, except for the reflexes, as you can see there. That is just going to be the one issue um, if you have this card, the standard version, you can see minus three on the reflexes. So that's the only big difference with the player levels and with the standard form as well. So um, I do tr think that this is how you should train <clears throat> excuse me i do think this is how you should train up this card so one into goalkeeper one stat into goalkeeper two we've eight and then into the goalkeeper three stat we have six so that will obviously give you now you could stick to the 90 there the 90 reflexes um and put in one more into awareness with the way that the, the gameplay has gone but i still think that the reflexes is the key to this card here um and i definitely think that that's how you should train him up um moving on we also have Gakpo who we will get to here <coughs> excuse me lads sorry and uh Gakpo is a very very decent player I think he's way way too highly rated in this sorry Liverpool fans but genuinely I do think when we take a look at Rashford's card in a couple of minutes in another video of the uh, covering the United players you'll see just how kind of overpowered this Gakpo card is now he's um he can play you know left wing with this card so I think that's kind of the only thing that kind of like balances this card out compared to say comparing him to Rashford but he's got a wavering form excellent stats you know all high 70s uh, which means that with those 25 levels that you can train him up you're going to get a lot of stats that you can boost up into the high 80s low 80s mid 80s whatever way you want to train him up you can turn him into an absolute demon left winger that can kind of cut in and uh, score goals or else you can kind of turn him in to a very 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 pacey winger as well so we'll get to the two options of that but look at all the player skills he has man double touch cut behind and turn soul control long range curler one touch pass true pass and weighted pass so you don't need to train up his passing at all really because of these player skills plus the passing with v2.4 at the moment is so crazy and so hit and miss um unless you're playing on the full assist bar uh assist setting you know you are going to struggle with those passes uh, no matter what you do with the stats unless you've got like 90 plus on all the stats right so there's two options with Gakpo I would definitely think that he is um a strong card obviously this card is 83 overall with 25 levels his standard card is 79 overall with 34 levels so they're kind of similar i would say they've really balanced the standard cards to make this you know fair for people that don't want to spend that don't want to spend money uh on anything um but this is how I've trained him. So the first option is as your winger that's going to be cutting in and shooting, obviously using that uh, long range drive and dipping shots and stuff like that to actually get goals. You know what I mean? To be able to still pass with the player skills, but to be score goals. So eight into shooting, nine into dribbling and dexterity, and then five into lower body strength just to get that cap up to 80 with balance, 80 to stamina, 
uh, low 80s with his speed and acceleration low 80s with all of these mid 80s with the dribbling and the finishing at 87 is extremely good for a player like that has these player skills and that can be extremely aggressive in the box when he needs to be and he's tall enough as well even though he doesn't have a good header uh, stat he will be able to get on the end of headers as well now the second option we have is a more traditional winger he goes to a 93 overall this guy goes to 93 as well but you'll see the difference in the stats so we've just simply put 10 into dribbling 10 into dexterity and then 8 into lower body strength this is going to give us a player that has got 86 speed and acceleration balance and stamina are a little bit higher and then we also have our dribbling at a really high 87 that's the real difference in this card shooting is still there if you want it but you're going to have to depend on your skill long range shots are kind of nerfed i would say since 2.4's gameplay update in fact it's gone through the ground really for a lot of teams and players you can still use long range shooting if you're a really good player but it is it is way harder than it used to be we've also got joe gomez he goes to an 88 overall i kind of like this card right if if you are struggling to defend you do want to have a defender that is going to be you know have a higher defense awareness than 87 he maxes out at 87 there you will want somebody in in the 90s if you want to let the ai do a lot of your defending for you his player skills are also lacking there as well which is a small bit of a pity obviously you know if you are looking at a top class center back you do kind of want to have the players um that have blocker and interception which is a bit of a pity with this card he also has standard form i'd say this is the worst card of this pack um but that is how I would train him. And then last but not least, we have Harvey Elliott as well. Um, and Elliot is a very, very good player, as you see here. There's been just, you know, an amazing amount of AMFs in the game that can just do untold for you uh, when you are playing them in the best positions. But look, V2.4, obviously... It is a bit more chaotic than the other builds of the game, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot of crazy stuff that can happen. So if you are, you know, using players that have got one-touch pass, have got true passing, have got, you know... Um, dribbling skills, which this guy does have, and then obviously have the... In the individual attributes which he does have as well obviously this is going to help you right to control the balance of the game when you do get those games that you can control right 90 acceleration 94 balance 81 offensive awareness that makes his offensive side of the game super strong but then we've got the passing we've got the dribbling we've 10 into dribbling 10 into passing 11 into dexterity and 6 into lower body 80 stamina 80 speed is extremely good for an amf with these other stats and with the player skills, I think he's probably one of the picks of him if you do get him. 91 overall AMF. If you've missed out on Simmons, if you've missed out on Pedri, if you've missed out on any of those top AMFs, I genuinely think this guy could be the next guy that is playing way above his stats. With the player skills he has, with his low center of gravity, um, these players seem to excel at the moment, the creative playmakers in that whole position. So that is it, lads, for me. I will be back with the Manchester United one up next. Until next time, I'll talk to you in a bit. Don't forget to subscribe and let me know if you're going to spin or skip, and I'll talk to you in a bit.